Hello, ladies, coaches. Uh, Kayla, you had put a question in our group saying, you know, I'm struck by the way you and Adam, you were speaking to Bay, you and Adam, you guys, how powerful you are with your words and did you always have this ability? And uh, so I wanted to speak to that because I can give you examples on both sides of the equation. So on the one hand, no, it's always a work in progress. Uh, words have often for a long time been my weapon because I'm brilliant. That's part of my essence and wit. And both of those are very good at manipulating words and language for desired effects. And I've had to learn, I've, I've always, like I'm constantly in process learning how better to speak to someone, how better to get in. There's Hermes right there. Look at him. Um, how to speak a truth in a way that people can better hear. And <clears throat> I want to share, uh, an experience this morning that I had, which is quite the opposite of that. And that speaks to the challenge of, of all of this. So it, it began cause I was due to be uh, a guest on a podcast for a woman. <clears throat> and, um, we'd connected about three months ago when I'd first reached out, she'd posted in a group, Hey, I'm looking for guests. Do you know anyone? I said, me, we got into conversation and we talked for about 30 minutes. And my experience of her was like, brilliant woman, big heart, uh, like pretty funny too, very lovely. So that's my experience of who she, she was for the world. That's her essence. The way she showed up on that call, I felt was very closed and guarded and like rigid. And here is the way that things will go. Um, but I didn't do anything about that because, you know, it's not really the time or, or the place for it. We're just sort of connecting a little bit. And so she sent me a little while later, like a whole bunch of logistical stuff, uh, which I went through and, and did. And, and one of it was this interview thing she wanted me to fill out. And so I, I went through and I filled it all out. And the last question she had was, um, is there anything else you want me to know? And my response to that, actually going to pull it up so I can read it verbatim, because otherwise I'll paraphrase and, and either make my sound, myself sound better or shittier. <laughs> Then, uh, then it actually went and probably a combination of the two. So bear with me. I'm kind of wishing that I had pulled this up beforehand, but okay, here we go. So my, my answer was yes. And it's edgy. What I was left wanting after a conversation was more of your heart. I already get your brilliance. I think you're one of my people. I think you're one of those that are smarter than most people in any given room. And I also get that you're a woman with a huge heart. And it feels extremely protected and like it's a place you've learned to keep pretty safe and to mostly operate from your head. I want more of your heart. And I would love to connect on that level when we podcast together, if not beforehand. So that's what I wrote. Um, and uh, we got on and, and she didn't, never, never mentioned it. At some point she wrote me and said, hey, can you fill out these podcast, this interview thing? And I just said, oh, I think I've already done that. And I sent her back that same thing. Didn't hear from her. And we'd had some emails she'd sent me back and forth, very business as usual. Here's the link to the, the Zoom call, et cetera, et cetera. And we got on the call this morning um, and started talking. And again, business as usual. Adam, you're gonna have 22 minutes about to do your thing once we once I've introduced you, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, great. She says, and you know, that thing you wrote for me in, in the uh, post, you know, you're gonna need to take responsibility for that, for your life and your experience, because that's you wanting other people to conform so that you can feel better about yourself. And I was, and I kind of, um, I, I think I went like, <laughs> hmm, okay. Um, and she said, oh, you think that's funny? And I was like, ooh, this, this could be trouble. And I was like, oh, no, uh, not so much. And at which point she said, you know, you can be kind of a dick, right? And I thought, oh, fuck. Okay. So what I'm present to in this moment is, wow, I've created a mess over there. You know, I can see reflecting that stuff, not the most artful way to do it, especially in a form that I've just sent off into the ether where they can't feel my warmth or love or heart or anything like that. Never mind that. So I, I apologize. I say, wow, I'm really sorry. I really, I really get like there was an impact. It landed a certain way that was not at all my intention. And, um, and she, she said, well, actually, it was your intention. You are trying to do that. You're smart. You do things for a reason. That's why you did it, right? She's very right about um, what I've done 
less interested in hearing me, more interested in being right about her experience, which is fine. And I'm trying to explain a little bit like, well, that really wasn't my intention, but I can totally get how it came off that way. And, and maybe, you know, I, I know there's often times when I do show up that way, when I do try to get people to conform to what I feel is right or, or the way the world should be. And, um, try as I might, I can't get her to the point where she can hear my apology, my contrition. And instead it's, it, it's just really, she's just really pissed off really fucking angry with me. And, uh, the hilarious thing is she says, we're in this conversation where I'm trying to like hold her and apologize and own everything that's happened and be responsible. And, and her in a funny kind of way, fighting me on it and not really allowing the apology to land. And, uh, and then she says, okay, well, we, you know, you can say one more thing, but then we need to get started with our podcast. And I'm thinking like, what the fuck? We can't do a podcast like this. Like this energy is whack. We can't, that's, that's going to show up. It's going to be a terrible podcast conversation. So I let her know that I say, look, I, I, I don't think, I don't think we should do the podcast now. And it may, it may not even be a, it feels a little bit like we're not a very good fit. And, um, but I do want to, I get that I slimed you, like that I got stuff on you and I really want to clean that up. And so, you know, I'd love to create some time outside of this to just give you an opportunity to share anything that there is and to just take that and to really hear what you have and to, to own it so that, that this can be cleaned up. And it's okay if you're a, a yes to that, I'd love that, or a no, I'm not interested in that, or I don't even believe your intentions, Adam which point she laughs at me and says, Adam, the very fact that you would even use that wording tells me something. I'm like, fuck, I'm just trying to validate your experience. So <laughs> anyhow, uh, we, we, I apologize about 38 more times. Um, and we end the call there. That's the end of the call. The apology is not getting in, right? I've said it, but I, it, she's holding, she's holding her incompletion and that's totally fine. She doesn't need to be any different. Um, so there's a couple of things that come out of this. First, I feel like a fucking piece of shit in the moment. I'm like, God damn it. I, I am such an asshole. And I work to move beyond that. It's very natural. That's one of the reasons I don't share my love as much as I could in the world is because I don't want to come across like an asshole. And if you are really committed to being a warrior for love, sometimes people will perceive that as you being an asshole. Second, notwithstanding all of that, not my best art. I get where I was coming from. I get what I brought to her and I, I, in a way, salute and honor why I brought it. And there's a more artful way I could have done so. So lesson learned. Um, third, this is the way that growth happens. I wish it didn't have to be this way because I would feel much better about myself if it didn't. But this is the truth of it. This is how we grow. This is what growing feels like. It feels awkward, uncomfortable. You feel like the exact thing that you don't want to feel like and you learn from that. And really, in order to not have this be yet one more place where I close and say, well, fuck you, world. I'm not going to share my love with you anyhow. My job is to really look over here and get how I created this and to continue to open my heart. And finally, what I see for this woman is this is, first of all, my read dead on. It wouldn't have triggered her so much if, if I wasn't pointing to something that was really there. And she's probably gotten this feedback from a number of people. And, and my friend who was supporting me after this, I kind of reached out and said, look, I could really use some acknowledgement. I'm trying really hard not to hate myself right now. Um, she said, you know, Adam, she's probably gotten this reflection from a number of men in the past, and you're probably paying their bills right now. This reaction is at least to some extent, all of the stuff that's happened in the past now coming and being put over there with you. So, I share that because I think it's really important. This is what it looks like if you want to really continue to move this work forward. And it, and it sometimes feels like being the exact thing you most don't want to be. And sometimes it's because you're being an asshole or I'm being an asshole. Your flavor may be different. Sometimes though, it's because you're just really coming from love and there's a greater level of art that you could have brought and, and you're learning. That's, that's how we learn that stuff. Thank you, Bay. That's Bay in the background there. Um, so Kayla, to answer your question, no, <laughs> we haven't always been this artful with words and this powerful. And it's a, it's a, a constant, um, thing of progress. 
and it can be painful and hard and feel embarrassing or awkward or like you're just the worst and that's all part of it. So love you all. Thanks for, um, thanks for listening. Thanks for the work that you're doing and don't stop. Be willing to have people relate to you as an asshole in service of the light that you're bringing into the world because I promise you, you are. Bye-bye.